I've always said AJ's built to measure for me. And just because he knocked out that guy with a right hand, it, it's not the same. Tight fans, welcome back. Tyson Fury. Okay. Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury now seems an eventual inevitability. When I've got through with a the rabbit, then we go down for AJ. AJ beats Tyson Fury every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. He will knock him out inside six rounds. After violently dispatching Ngannou, oh! the pair now have five mutual opponents. He smashed Otto Varlin up, and now he's gone in there and obliterated Francis Ngannou, and Tyson Fury struggles. AJ showed what Tyson Fury should have showed in that first fight. All of which Joshua claims to have beaten more convincingly than the Gypsy King. Every opponent that me and Fury got in common, I've knocked them out. Every opponent. Well, I've stopped them. Anything you can do, I can do better. But AJ is going to show people it's not over. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. But listen, you big fellow close in. This is the first time we make it. Nice to the giant, isn't it? Listen, heavyweight division has changed it up. Back on track, Anthony Joshua has shown that six months can make the world a difference. And so too have the guys at Keeps. Keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness from the comfort of their own home. According to clinical studies, treatments offered by Keeps are 90% effective at treating hair loss and can increase hair growth by up to 35% via both FDA approved hair loss treatment options as well as a two-in-one gel that combines both. Whether you're looking to stay on the back foot and defend the hair you've got or go on the offensive and stimulate new hair growth, Keeps are the professionals that you want in your corner. Having helped nearly 1 million men keep their hair, boasting over 4,500 five-star reviews, hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash Motivedia or click the link in the description below. I knew after I fought him that the pedigree of the game has changed. These are not these 1990 fighters and these early 2000 fighters. That I, when, I was, when I came up in boxing, I was considered the big man. Blessed with a ramrod jab and succinct survival instincts, 2012 Kevin Johnson was a far cry from the later globetrotting act. One of the most best spectacular, magnificent, splendid ass whoopings blended together to form an equation right here in the UK. A granite chin gatekeeper, Kingpin had stood up to 12 rounds of Vitaly Klitschko. Max, I think you, you're right when you said this is turning out to be a rocky fight. Finally, Kevin Johnson lets his hands go. Much too little and much too late. Klitschko get right in his chest. Oh, now he's going after Vladimir. Bad move, Johnson. He got his, he got his rounds. I'll be back. No problem at all. I will be back. All the great champions lose one time, maybe twice. So I will come back and show him exactly why I'm going to beat him. He's on the world stage. We believe he's a world-class fighter. And Tyson's ready to step up now, so it's a brilliant fight. And we thank Kevin Johnson for taking the fight. Not one top 10 heavyweight would ever fight me. Why? Because I'm one of the most feared heavyweights out there. Just months before his American debut, Tyson Fury's pre-fight antics were more exciting than the forgettably drama-free headliner. This fool's an idiot, yeah? He's gonna get smashed a bit. And Vladimir Klitschko, I want you next. I want you. Take the glasses off for one, Kevin? Nah, but I can't stand ugly people. You can't look at the eyes. That's Listen, that's only what small people say. Listen, I can guarantee you, bigger the eye, the harder they punch, the better men they are. Lumbering to a landslide win, Fury's reputation on the world stage was hardly enhanced. Kevin Johnson, never been stopped, never been down. He moved in here, and I actually thought he was going to bring the fight. He did. He took the little man's approach and tried to box. Well, excuse me, he did box. Yeah, Johnson just uh, standing and letting Fury move here, almost saying, come on. Strange old fight at the moment. A couple of boos ringing around the arena, but Johnson now moves forward. That's good from Fury, although... Not quite sure he's earned the showboating there. And there's boos ringing around. They obviously want to see him knock this fella out. But you can't always be a crowd pleaser. Sometimes you have to do your job. The verdict is coming up next after a very short break. And I fought him 12 rounds. No bruises, no nothing. 
but it was the same fight. Fury is so hard, and I know Fury personally, you know this. He's so hard to get to. All these places, I ain't trained not one day for Tyson Fury 12 rounds. I didn't train. Didn't train for Derek Chisora. What we fight? I don't even remember because the fight was so easy and basic. It wasn't a struggle. Three years after the Fury snooze fest, retreating into a comatose cocoon had become second nature for a man intent on lasting the course. He has never been stopped as a heavyweight fighter. However, arriving in London to face a new pay-per-view star in the making. This is going to be the best heavyweight fight that haven't been seen in the last, I think counted 13 years exactly, guaranteed. Johnson received a rude awakening. Maybe seven, maybe nine, but if I get mad, it may be five. Kevin Johnson, new heavyweight champion. Heavyweight champion of the earth, not the world, heavyweight champion of the earth. That means on the moon and underwater, I am the champion. He brings the verbal side, I bring the physical side. <laughs> That's all I can really say on the matter, so he's doing his job. That's why he's here. 70% of his money, once I knock him out, goes to a charity. He knocked me out, 70% of my money go to any charity he chooses. Wow. If you're that confident, I know there's going to be a knockout, I guarantee this. And you handle Anthony Joshua's power. I'll show you how much there is no power. Half the fight, I'm going to fight the boy with my hands down. And mark my words, that's how the fight will go. I don't need my hands up, he don't have no power. And now we go to the big boys of boxing. Passing his first big test in devastating fashion, AJ smashed the American to his seventh defeat. Runs it to say, is that it? Is that the best you've got? But he was shaken, Jim. And there's a body shot coming in as Joshua continues to stalk him down. And it's survival mode already, this, for Kevin Johnson. Joshua going to work. Once again, it nails it! It's him out of there. Inside around, there goes the bell. And Johnson is finished. And it's stopped. It's over. Done. Inside two rounds. Kingpin just got bowled over. No one's come close to doing that to Kevin Johnson. It's like when I fought Anthony Joshua. That was the first time I ever sustained some damage. The crafty old pro Andy knows how to look after himself. The veteran road warrior was stopped again just two more times across his 60 fight career. He's got a left hand there from Bacoli. But nobody did the job quite like Joshua's second round demolition. Anthony Joshua who does it again. What on earth are they going to do with him next? It's your time, it's your time. You're going to stay in the game or you're going to get out of it. And uh, I think it's my time to get out of the game. That's it for me. Young kid, strong kid. And look forward to watching him on the big screen as he go on and climb the rankings as just like Lennox did over here. So Anthony Joshua, I think he, he looks the business. He's in great shape and all that, but we don't know what, anything about him until he gets in hard fights. So what would be that word? Anthony Joshua. Untested. Okay, there you go. Good afternoon and welcome to the official weigh-in between two, let's make that the two best heavyweights in the world. Stepping into the German ring, little did Vladimir Klitschko know that his nine-year title reign consisting of 18 defenses was about to end. I'm expecting as um, the most challenging and difficult fight in my career and this attitude I had before every fight and it's not going to change. The save is arrived! Look at this man, he's changing the face of boxing Saturday night. Enjoy people, boxing is no longer a dull sport. <laughs> Treading the traditional route, challenger Tyson Fury was viewed by some as a joke. Who is Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury needs to prove himself. All these antics and stuff doesn't make him a good boxer. But his tomfoolery masked an unbeaten 24-fight slate and an intense desire to succeed. He's a small man as well, he's old, he's going great and he's finished. I've never been so confident of ever a fight before than I am confident of knocking this idiot out. History does not lie. History says all old champions move over for the new ones. I am the new one. Leave my commands at all times above all. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. It wasn't always orthodox. It wasn't always pretty. And he crushes him and just flicks him on the chin there. But Fury bamboozled the stoic Ukrainian across 12 rounds, turning the entire division on its head. And that was an experience there from the most experienced of world champions. He's defeated all odds. Nobody gave him a prayer back in the UK. The bookies have lost a lot of money. Good for them. But believe me, there's more to come. He's done it! There is a new era in heavyweight boxing! My 
strategy is to get Anthony Joshua to the heavyweight title as quickly as possible. You know, looking at the fight tonight, I'd rather Anthony fight Vladimir. You know, and that's completely different to what I thought before the fight. Lastly, Tyson Fury's been doing a hell of a lot of tweeting these days, and with the tweets that he's been sending you, he's been hashtagging at Bum City. Ain't good enough to be a sparring partner. I wouldn't talk Bum City, piece of shit. Are you ready for becoming a legend? No, I don't want to be a legend. No way. Um, stuff like that will probably drive me to stop boxing. I just want to fight, man. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to sport fans and fight fans all around the world. Today we have a public service announcement. Two years later, things had been flipped upside down once again. Fury's disappearance into a hazy wilderness saw the absent Klitschko reappear to challenge UK boxing's next big hope at Wembley. I needed someone who can potentially challenge me. And that's why I say potentially, because you never know until you fight. The job is to make the fight look easy. These big muscles that make him bring him confidence and he just wants to demolish people right in front of him. He just, that's what it is, it gives him a lot of confidence. I don't think God would ever put me in a position that I couldn't handle. So I'm here for a reason and I'll handle business the same way I've been handling business. But do you hear But boxing is a sweet science? So let's get this party started! Anticipation. 18-0 Anthony Joshua somehow survived the thrills and spills of 11 madly exciting rounds. Right hand sends Joshua down. Getting chinned in the sixth round. I wasn't sure whether he'd get out. Showed tremendous heart. Still being forced onto the back foot, which is rare for Joshua. Got hit with the kitchen sink. Got his second wind in seven and eight. Came back in nine and ten and stopped him in the eleven. Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko took it, but Joshua's going for a big left hand. On paper, scoring a KO win in such a fashion raised AJ's stock. Who's going to stop Joshua now? Even if the green-eyed Fury watching from home had done the same job more convincingly. I'm Fury! Tyson Fury, where you at, baby? <laughs> I know he's been talking a lot and he wants to come back and compete. I just want to fight everyone, man. I'm really enjoying this right now. Today, another major announcement of Tyson Fury's comeback on June the 9th in Manchester. I already offered Wilder out, already offered AJ out, called Eddie and and um, set the division on fire again. The Mac is back. Hey. Fit and firing once again, 2019 Fury had developed a nice six monthly rhythm to occupy his mind and body with consistent challenges. Out in the crowd of come on Tyson, well that left hand's hurt him, give me a chance. He wants one last chance to throw a big left hand off the ropes. Two fights removed from an enthralling draw with Deontay Wilder, a relatively unknown Swedish opponent stepped forward. It's a dream come true for me to be here. I've I mean, I come from a small place in Sweden and now I'm here on the big stage and I've been dreaming about this and I'm, I'm ready to put it all on the line. Well, I've never met a challenge I couldn't defeat. I've never met a mountain I couldn't climb. I've never met a man I couldn't beat. So he's going to be no exception. I would never take this fight if, if I didn't think that I was going to win or that I can win. Nothing, it won't come easy. It will be very hard, but I know I can do it. I expect to have a good fight and, and knock this guy clean out. That is that's what I expect and that's what I hope. Many expected 20-0 Otto Wallen to fold like Germany's Tom Schwartz had. I don't give that going more than four rounds, mate. Fury will take him away. I don't care where he's from, mate. Fury will send him back to Sweden. Here in Las Vegas, Fury wants to put on a real show tonight. Wallen is really trying to rough Fury up and he's going looking for him. Instead, the New York-based Southpaw gave Fury plenty of early problems. He showed a good punch, he showed chin, he showed heart, he showed the ability to be able to come back. Here comes Valen, and he's fighting in this sixth round like a man who really is starting to be shot. Opening up a gigantic, potentially fight-ending gash across Tyson's eye. He focused on winning the rounds, don't look, try and bang him out, anything silly, don't panic, okay? The final bell brought welcome relief. He knows he's won the fight, but Valen celebrates as well. And I wanted to show it, you know, I'm, I'm not just here to talk, I'm here to back it up, and I think I did that. He did, he was a tough guy, and he hit me with some good news as well, especially in round 12. But still, I stand firm, I come here on Mexican Independence Day, blood and guts all over the ring. Here's a question for you, for someone who's been in the ring with Fury, that has sparred numerous rounds with Anthony Joshua, if you can compare those two situations to say who you think would win that fight, 
There is someone you do speak to on the telephone. Anthony Joshua. Yes, uh, sometimes I say, what's happening, AJ? How are you, Mush? And then we have a little bit of back and forth and then I tell him I'm going to knock him out and he tells me I'm going to knock you out. And I said, after your last performance, Mush, you need a lot of improvement to knock me out, I'll tell you that. You know, Josh, a big puncher and if you're a good boxer, so two big guys, anything can happen, but it's hard to pick a winner. I think that would be a good fight. And Anthony Joshua returns and takes on a, a highly rated, yeah. highly ranked Swede, of course, the one and only Otto yeah. Valin. I think he relaxed a little bit and started talking back. But my impression of him was that he was very stiff and tense and didn't know what to do. Can you knock Anthony Joshua out in, in Saudi Arabia? Of course. I mean, I heard Fury, I heard Gassiev, I can hurt Joshua. And I think definitely I have the skill, I have the heart, and I have the IQ too to beat him. I'm going to take a shot here. And I'm gonna go with Wallen winning a decision. But in terms of like how the fight will go, yeah, I think blood, blood, uh, bruising. Yeah, I'd like the look of um, AJ this week. He looks a little bit mean as well. Recreating that same energy on the big stage four years later was a difficult task for Wallen. Scorched by inactivity, his main asset of movement was stilted by a rampant Anthony Joshua seeking to punctuate a solid 2023. For some reason, he has uh, lost that uh, seek and destroy style a little bit. Well, and I think that's what made him good. <laughs> Growing in confidence, AJ bossed the Riyadh ring, smashing Valen's nose to send out a powerful message through the medium of boxing triangle theories. Oh God, give me Tyson Fury now, please. There is absolutely no way Tyson Fury beats Anthony Joshua. No way, no way. Was this year, you didn't finish the, the year with a world title, but do you look at this year as being a success? We've got bigger ambitions than that, man. Bigger ambitions than that. So I don't celebrate when I win these fights, I celebrate when I win the championships. I always felt like Fury was gonna win that fight pretty easy, but I changed my mind a little bit. I think that I give um, Joshua a better chance now after I've been in with him. I think Tyson will be boxing my 40-year-old. He can't help himself. He really can't. <coughs> it's what's in him. He's what yeah. they call a human pit bull terrier, isn't he? Come on! In between those two wall-in collisions, Tyson Fury would also test himself, somewhat controversially, against another domestic yardstick. This ain't the Tyson Fury show. This is Tyson Fury and Dylan White show. From where I stand, it didn't work, Tyson Fury show. It wasn't the one most people wanted, but it was only four months removed from the Wilder trilogy, and White was someone who had always brought the fire. It's just me and him that's fighting, that's the thing. It is my own business, it's me and Fury is gonna go to war. You know, we started working together and we, we, we were good friends together. We went out, we went out for a drink, we, we ate together, we slept together. We, he was like, he was a part of our team. We slept in the, in the similar surrounding, but not together, bro. Relax. The mind games of the Wilder trilogy were replaced with playful antics. On fight night, however, it was strictly business. Maybe Tyson Fury's last fight, and maybe Dillian White's greatest night. And it's very, very messy in there. They've got to get control of the situation, otherwise it might get out of hand. proper full-on push me like that and I fell over and hit my head on the canvas which is which is illegal this ain't rustling this is this is boxing you know what I mean what a punch the right off the cup Dillian White never saw it he felt it I'm, I'm happy with my performance and I hope he's happy with his performance because he didn't fight a world champion tonight I ain't no world champion I'm a legend in this game 94,000 people in my own country's capital city it does not get any better than this. There's a lot of parity now, but right now, you have to say on paper, Tyson Fury's the best heavyweight in the world, and I don't mind saying that, but I believe AJ can beat him. Joshua's meeting with White back in 2015 was far less jovial. Pre-fight animosity fueled by the pair's amateur history and clash of characters. Do you want to do it now? Talk too much. Do you want, let everybody get out of the room now. So Me and you stay in here, we can have it. I see who walks much. up. We speak all too often about the old AJ in both fighting style and personality, 
but with gritted teeth and bad intentions, this was him. Just wait a few more days and you can chill out. It's only a fight, it's no big deal. We go to war, we go to trenches, we can box, it's no big deal. Don't count Dylan White out in this fight. Uh, don't be surprised if he beat him. But that doesn't faze me though. You know what I mean? You know, everybody, everybody of their day, there comes a time in a man's life where you, 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 you sink or, or, or swim. That's fine. You couldn't touch me. <laughs> okay. Hand them out, you couldn't touch me. Okay. For the first time as a professional, AJ was caught clean. Early in the second round, Joshua shaken down to his foundations. But he took it, smiled, and came back with that wrecking ball mentality. I'm just telling him, I said, he threw a jab, I said, that's it, he threw a left so you're going to have to be better than that. Oh, it's a good shot now. Rocked him early out of nowhere. Joshua looks like he's in no rush. He's playing the matador in there at the moment. Oh! Does he hit hard as, as people say, though? It is hard, but you know, I'll live with hit hard. It's one of those ones where. Happening! Joshua! For this one, Ending it a round earlier, you could argue Fury did it better, albeit facing a much more hesitant and battle-worn White. All the cards have been dealt, um, and they've got to come through me. So I'm saying, grow a pair, come see the champ, and I'll sort you all out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. We cannot wait for this one. Within the space of just six months, a new beast has transitioned from a different sport to become one of the surprise new faces of boxing. What does he bring to the table that you've been working on that, that could maybe potentially cause you some problems? Absolutely nothing. We're going to see if he's got the guts to stand and trade with a heavyweight champion of the world. We're going to see if he's got the belief in his power. Um, and I'm not convinced. My goal is not only to win, but to also go out there and prove people that I can box. If I don't do that, then that's a loss. I once stated that I could drink 15 pints of beer and still beat Anthony Joshua in a fight. So I'm going to go on record and say this. I could drink 25 pints of beer and still beat Francis Ngannou in a fight. They say it's 6'9". I mean, this doesn't look like five inches different. It's like a table tennis champion facing Djokovic in Wimbledon final. Totally different. So here we go then. A good right hand from Tyson Fury. Derided by many, expected to be limited by his brute strength and lack of fundamental grounding. I don't feel that way. I know for a fact that Francis and his team are going to go in there and chuck the world, and I know what you all are saying. Number one, you're saying he has no chance. <laughs> Francis Ngannou dropped, humiliated, and almost defeated Tyson Fury in their Saudi showdown. Uh, because when we started, he said, uh, let's go to school. So I'm like, oh, I think you are a, wrong, uh, you are a bad teacher. <laughs> Ngannou's status was instantly legitimized. Tyson! I thought that Francis Ngannou won that fight. There's no one to blame or no one to do anything. It was a tough fight. I had to get off the floor to win. And um, yeah, no excuses. And Jesus, Ngannou's a powerful boy as well. Tyson couldn't hoard them. Tyson could not hoard them. Maybe Tyson Fury not serious. Oh, it's me. May fight him. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know. The guy just deserves to have had one of the greatest wins. I mean, I don't know what I was watching. I don't know what Tyson Fury was doing. If they want to stitch Francis Ngannou up and, and make the Usyk Fury fight, maybe AJ will fight him after he's got the credibility of beating Tyson Fury. It won't go three rounds. It will not go three rounds. Big boxing news. Nancy Joshua will face former UFC champion Francis Ngannou in Saudi Arabia. I like this. Ngannou put Fury on his backside, didn't he, when they boxed last year? Yeah, I don't think anyone gave you too much of a chance and you proved them all wrong. How'd you go about shocking the world again? Seeking to rehabilitate boxing's reputation. I think I haven't uh, shook the war yet. The weight would swiftly fall onto the shoulders of Anthony Joshua. But AJ says he is ready for whatever Ngannou throws at him and has a bright vision of his future. I would take everything that I have in my stomach to come after AJ and do everything that's possible to take him down. I'll be ready for the shots that are coming my way and he has to be ready for the shots that are coming his way because I'm obviously a man that's going to be standing in front of him bringing him a lot of hell and problems as well. And honestly, if AJ does lose to Francis, his career is basically over. The flaming, ferocious fist of Francis will finish Anthony Joshua. Could Joshua's chin take an Ngannou swipe? Could Joshua handle some more big stage nerves? It was not a foregone conclusion whatsoever because 
I know now that he can box. Just like before Mayweather McGregor, more and more onlookers crumbled to the media hype train, fancying Ngannou to shock the world once again. Yeah, I don't bet on fights, but if I would, I would put my money on uh, Francis. I believe that Francis is going to knock him out. First round. <laughs> Ngannou wins? <laughs> yes. KO? Ngannou KO. But Joshua had been here before. He wasn't overwhelmed by the danger, nor the size of Nganu. Two behemoths colliding in the city of Riyadh. Oh! oh AJ touched him! He went down! Something's changed with his butt. He's rotating through. He never used to rotate through. He was like he was putting it there and pulling it back. He's such a, an amazing athlete. And he's now finally putting all of that into the punches. Capitalizing on a few lazy punches, he shut away the Cameroonian to reaffirm those AJ of old comments. No matter how good your chin is, when you're getting hit with punches that you can't see by somebody like Anthony Joshua, no chin's going to hold up against that. Anthony Joshua! Incredible! It is what it is. We've got the job done. People can question me. I'll do my best every time and what will be will be, but I'm not even buzzing about the win. Just on to the next, let's go. AJ wants to fight Tyson Fury in your mind right now. Who wins that one? I don't know how, I don't know how I'll give it to AJ for right now. I mean, listen, the crossover, you know how I feel about crossovers and boxing and that's that's how they end. When I truly do believe, I don't think, I know what happened on Friday night happened. I don't believe there's another heavyweight that does that to him, if I'm being honest, in boxing. In regard to Fury, I mean, they've got two common opponents. AJ did much better in both. My, my, my money's on AJ. Going into the Fury fight, if Fury trained for the fight and didn't show up and, you know, look like he ate Tyson Fury, it's probably the way that fight would have ended, too. Puts an end to all of this discussion, silences the doubter, and puts it in the face of Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, doing what he couldn't. Um, but it, listen, you get a bit cocky like he did, and it, it was what it was. It was what it was. He got knocked out, and that's what a boxer should do to an MMA fighter. In boxing, styles make fights, and tackling common opponents often leads to strategic redirections. He said to me, Tyson, I hit Ngannou with a load of massive shots, never budged him once. That's the difference. Once a switch hitting safety first stylist, Fury's transformation to come forward aggressor has increased the intrigue. Taking the opposite route, bullying early victims into submission, Joshua has since stepped back and become a more conservative, mindful tactician. He's looking good, AJ. Compo composed, relaxed, calm. The abundance of plot twists, passive-aggressive verbals, and in-ring displays all scaffold the increasing hype around a future megafight. One fighter's performance is not a surefire indicator of future results, but smashing away common foes certainly sends a powerful message. AJ is coming to his peak. And I don't think Fury's at his peak anymore. And I think that, that AJ beats him. And one of those questions is going to be about Fury, you see. No, Fury's it. You know, if they want me, they can come knocking at my door. Because anything you can do, I can do better. Knock on the door. If they do knock on the door, what do you open it and say? Let's go.